So you know the forecast is going to be cold. Mark said that. Mm -hmm. But we know spring is closely coming right around the corner here, especially when the Greater Cleveland Auto Show opens up at the IX Center. And because it's chilly, maybe a great place to check out because the doors opened tonight at 5 o'clock for auto enthusiasts and would-be car buyers as they make their way out to the annual 10-day event. And it's also where we find our News 5's John Kosick tonight out in the middle of it to get you ready for it. Yeah, I look forward to this event every year. It's circled on my calendar as it is for many of you. It's hard to believe the very first Cleveland Auto Show was 121 years ago at Gray's Armory. The focus back in 1903 was on the modern combustion engine. Still very much a focal point here, but anymore, this place is electric. For those looking at an all new electric vehicle, the 2024 Auto Show is the place. Name the automaker or a model, you're likely to find it here, like these Chevys. They've got the Blazer EV, which is brand new. That's hit showrooms late last year. Uh, then later on this year, we have the new Equinox coming, so that's here, the EV version. But they have the EV Silverado, which is supposedly coming third or fourth quarter of this year. Again, all these are all electric, uh, plug-in. Uh, GM's offering some incentives to help install chargers at home. If you're going all in, how about the new Cadillac Escalade starting at $130,000? What you come to expect from Escalade is what you're going to get in this times 100. Take a look if you get a chance at the 55 inch LED screen, you're going to be amazed. It, it encompasses the entire length of the dash up front. For those looking to celebrate a classic, the all new Ford Explorer will hit showrooms later this year. Rolled out for the first time last week in Chicago, Northeast Ohio car enthusiasts among the first to see its new features, including Blue Cruise, that enables you to drive hands and feet free on the highway, provided your eyes are on the road. There are sensors that are invisible to, to the human eye looking for your eyes, and if your eyes drop, it will turn off and it will alert you. You cannot lay down and take a nap while driving it. You still have to be actively watching the road. There are the regular highlights like concept cars like this Buick Wildcat that is definitely not your father's Buick or the new Lincoln Nautilus, which is built in China. One of the show's more popular features is, of course, the opportunity to see a vehicle and then test drive some of them. So if you have nine different manufacturers that you can test drive, you're getting them captured. It's seats and seats, you know, butts and seats, driving the car. And that is why over the last 10 years, with the exception of the COVID years, March has been the number one month for auto sales here in Northeast Ohio. The auto show runs through next Sunday at the IX Center in Cleveland. John Kasich, News 5.